Alright, so I'm rested. I am ready to go. It took a nice long break, just like I said I was, except for the video about Vetrano, the video about Drew, and the Billy Lindsay interview, and the Randy Moeller interview. But other than that, it took a nice long break. I did go fishing, and it started raining. That's it. That was it. There's, there's, no, there's no days with no hockey now until we lift the cup. I looked at the schedule. Every single day has at least one video scheduled. Most of the time two, sometimes three. You never know what's going to happen. Lost my voice today. I'm yelling. We're good. This is fine. We got Claude Drew on the top line. We got Ben Chirot on the top pair with Uyghur. Ekblad, obviously, we all know what happened there. It's fine. Let them rest. Let them rest. Let them go fishing. Take a little vacation. Take more of a vacation than I did, Aaron. All right? Go away. Don't tell anybody where you are. Just, just go. Relax. Haig is also in the lineup tonight, paired with Montour, so it's going to be interesting to see how that all shakes out. But everybody, obviously, the big thing is wanting to see Claude Drew with Alexander Barkov. <laughs> oh, you've got to be kidding me. Just the difference. You guys got to understand. I've been doing this for six years. The interview with Billy, with, with Randy Moeller, was video number 800. Video number one was me in my van with the Panther flag behind me bitching and complaining about all the crappy moves that ownership had made but getting rid of Branson and Kulikov and going all analytics and all of that okay then like 10 days after I started the channel Gallant got fired that's that's the, that's what started all of this right and now you fast forward six years later and Claude Drew is telling the Flyers who are his team that's his home that's his like they're the guys that, you know, that gave him the opportunity. That's his team telling him, look, screw you guys. You send me to the Panthers or, or, or shovel sand. Nothing. That's it. Wouldn't go anywhere but Florida. I mean, the difference in those two things. Not to mention when I started, I was fat and had hair. But that's a different story. Wasn't a lot of hair. All right, all right, all right. Look, we have a nice stretch of games here. None of them. I'm not going to say they're easy games, but we have a six-point lead on Tampa Bay. There's no more games in hand. The division is it's like right there in the hand. All we have to do is not screw this up. Now, I don't know about the conference. The Canes look good. Let's not pretend the Canes don't look good right now. But in terms of our division, uh, it's all flippy-floppy. We Toronto could be second. Tampa could be second. Boston could be second. They're all fighting and scratching with each other. And we're just kind of sitting up on top smoking a cigar for now. Don't get cocky. The fans can get cocky. We can get confident. This team, out of tonight, I want to see a nice, easy, clean game. Everybody stays healthy. Look, we don't have to go crazy. I don't want to see anybody going crazy, crashing into the boards and doing anything stupid. All right? 5-1 Panthers. Spencer Knight's in goal because Bobrovsky's still not 100%. Fine, let him rest. The same thing with Lundell. Let these guys rest. It's fine. We're good. We got 20 more of these, and then the games that really matter, those are the ones that are coming soon. All right, so it's 1-1 one, one after 1. 36 seconds in, the game was tied at 1, and Hagen Drew had already had assists. <laughs> And then it's dried up since then. Uh, what are we seeing? We've had a lot of power play opportunities. They don't look great. Don't look terrible. It's getting a little bit better. Obviously, you got a new guy. It's going to take a little bit of a sec. I was surprised Drew was on the right side and not the left side. But 
six of one half dozen of another. Um, something going on with David Savard. Huberto took a penalty like right at the at the start of the game. That's where Montreal got their first goal. There was a power play goal, and he's been yipping and yapping and jawing and bumping and hitting. So I don't know what the hell, I don't know if he ate somebody's Cocoa Puffs last year or something like that, but somebody definitely has a problem with Savard tonight. Other than that, Spencer Knight hasn't seen a lot of shots, but he's had a couple, two or three shots here towards the end of the period. Montreal kind of woke up, making big saves, so we're good to go there. I feel good about it. Look, we didn't look all that good in the first period, but we haven't played in forever. We look like a team that hasn't played in a week. I expect a big second period. Let's move on. What's well, three two after two? Mm. I got fresh hot cake. We'll talk about it after the game. We're gonna win. points yes 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 that might have been five it's close enough it was four to three panthers we'll take it that's that's all i can say about this game we were a little rusty ah whatever look at the end of the season we win the division if we if we if we win the conference in terms of points look back at these what's this five five games in a row now for spencer knight making big saves when we need him to, keeping us in games, and winning games for us when he had just come back from the AHL. So you got to give him a bunch of, just absolute ton of credit. Everybody knew scored. Drew had two assists. Hey, got an assist. And uh, who's the other guy? Sherratt, he had an assist. Looks good. Power play is still a little bit of, eh, they, they're not moving the puck fast enough, okay? So I don't really think so much that it was the change with Giroux, I just think, they're, and Randy said it during one of the intermissions, they're just not moving the puck fast enough. Um, nice, easy game. Kind of, you know, you, you'd like to win by more goals, but two points is two points. And this happens, you know, at the end of the season, you know, when they say, oh, the Panthers got the easiest schedule because look at the, the winning percentage of these teams. But we see you see it every year. You get like Montreal is now. Playing better towards the end of the season, right? Guys get new coaches, new players come up. Guys are playing for contracts for the next year. Suddenly the teams that didn't play so good earlier in the season, now they look halfway decent. They're, they've got nothing to lose. They can pull the goaltender with five minutes. You get the point. So these are games we should win, but they're not going to be easy games. They're not physical. That's okay. All right? I don't mind a good hard Hockey game, as long as it's not too physical, nobody is getting hurt, everybody's staying nice and fresh. So the beat goes on. This is what, game, like I said, game five of this road trip. We've been doing really well. Spencer Knight's holding down the fort. Um, when I said earlier why, why I was confusing the power play, why they had Drew on the right side. I know he plays on the right, but I mean in the power play. They showed a graphic on Bally's that showed most of Drew's goals this year actually had been from the left side. And if you notice later on, it was either second or third period. The next power play they had Drew out there on the left side. That's where he was he was been scoring goals from. So I don't know why they started him off on the right hand side. Now this might be nitpicking. This one little thing I noticed. Um 4-3, we're killing that penalty, drawing our own zone late in the game, and we got Ethu Lusterainen out there taking the draw, who's not been good on the faceoffs all year, and he lost the draw, and Montreal got a chance out of that. I don't know why we would do that. I don't know why we would do that. I, I, I obviously understand Lundell's not in. Um... But uh, throw Chari out there. Throw Chari out there. If, if it's a, if it's a you know a defensive zone draw there, one goal game late power play that should not be. He, he threw loose to right and should be the last 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 next to the last resort before they throw my ass out there to take a face off. So I wasn't sure what was going on there. I didn't like that, but we got out of it. We got out of it. That's 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 all we need to say about this game. All right. 
my voice is going for some for some reason today I don't know I had a couple of clients and my voice has just not been great all today I've been yelling too much I'm gonna have the review with Stu out in the morning feels good to be back all right now look gave away on a live stream today gave away an Alexander Barkoff card Okay, I've got some new stuff coming in to give away for the rest of the season. The giveaways will continue during the live streams, during the playoffs. They start one hour before the game. We have a lot of fun. It's not, it's not real formatted, right? It's not real stuffy. It's basically like me just hanging out with you guys and you guys trash talking me. Every once in a while somebody asks a hockey question. But for the most part, it's guys beating me up. Especially Steve. He beats me up so bad, you know? I love you, man. You're good. You're all right. It's all right. <laughs> all right. Big fat two points. I'll see you guys in the morning with Stu.